So this is the greenhouse that Aaron built. Uh, it's still kind of messy back here, but uh, yeah, the greenhouse itself, not much to write home about, but it, you know, took me a day, not even uh, eight hours probably to build it. But what's really exciting is what's inside. This is a barrel ponic system. It's a miniature aquaponic system designed to be kind of a, a hobby system for people who just want to kind of uh, experiment with this and see how it works for them. Um, it's kind of wavy looking because I'm looking through the greenhouse windows, but we'll get a, a better view in a second here. Um, just as an overview, this is the fish tank. And as you can see, um, yes, there are fish living in there right now. And as you can see, there's a little outlet here, if you can see it through the wavy glass. And then that goes to a pump here. And uh, let's see. You can see that there's a the pump sends the water up here to this tube that goes up to this reservoir that uh, holds the water for a time, and then it's on a timer that I'll show you in a bit, I'll show you a little better in a second, and then periodically floods these two uh, half barrels, which are the grow beds. So we can take a closer look now. Those are my fish. They are a lot smaller than they look in that shot. Like, oh my God, it's a monster fish! No, they're just little feeder goldfish sitting here and happy away in there. Hey, they're a little afraid of me still. I've only had them for a day. But anyway, this is the looking down into the, the fish tank. And there's the output. It goes into this pump. And this pump sends the water up this tube here. Well, you notice it splits off here and one of them goes back. That's just to aerate the water. So some of it goes back right into the tank. Then it goes up here into this top tank, which I haven't quite finished. I'm going to grow lettuce in here. As you can see, it just, it's just a place where the water can, can sit still, and, and I'll, I'll be putting lettuce in here. Um, once the water reaches the height of this stand tube, you can see it's, it's uh, going down. And if we look under here, we can maybe see the water coming down. See the water flowing down? It's flowing down into this bigger tank here. That's the flood tank. And you notice that there's a little spout here. When the water reaches that level, it starts to flow into this bottle. Oh, which it's doing right now. We're going to see this in action. When that, there's a toilet flusher that that bottle is connected to. And as soon as that water fills the bottle, and makes it heavy, that bottle is going to come down and it's going to pull on this wire that's going over these pulleys and it's going to open the toilet flusher. And we're going to get to see this in action in just a few seconds here, actually. Um, yeah, you can see it's connected to these pulleys here. And then there's a toilet flapper inside, and that's the bottom of the toilet flapper. So the water's going to come out of these tubes. For flush, you see that? <laughs> it's the darndest thing you ever saw. So these, this manifold is actually uh, now filling up these grow beds. And there's a, a little adjuster inside the flood tank that allows you to uh, decide how much water is going to fill the, the, the grow beds. So you can uh, have them very high, which is where I have it set. It's just a little high because we wanted to, to make sure that the seeds uh, get enough water. Um, as you can see, I'm still in the sprouting stages which has been really successful for me so far. Um, we've got beans. And these little green guys are broccoli. I don't know if you'll be seen on camera here, but um, I have little tiny basil and tomato sprouts in here. And I just put down the chilies and the leeks and cucumbers. Because oh, yeah, they've only been in there for a couple of hours. And as you can see, they'll have grow beds flood. The water comes through the gravel and comes back up here. What it's doing is it's carrying the clean water to the fishes. The fish is in the water, it goes up into the plants. So that it's clean the water for the fish, the fish poop in water for the plants. It's basically just a little self-enclosed ecosystem. And now we're going to have this thing that's going to be turned back up because all the water is going through the little plants and it returns because the water has drained out that little hole in the cap. And it closes the, the, the thing. So what you end up here with is, is a periodic flushing of the... Uh, of the grow beds. So they get water and then they get air and then they get water and then they get air. And you can see the, uh, the water coming out of these two spouts back into 
of the fish tank. The purpose of these guys is just an overflow in case these get clogged up. Um, that's the, those are overflows so that the water, if it, over, if it gets too high, will we'll end up back in the fish tank. So, I can say goodbye to the little fishies. They're frightened of me. Bye bye fishies!